He is the dubious and evil man from Uganda. He is Kim Chi. Ah, this guy. His opponent. He is one half of the Rad Boys. He is all that. Brayden Elliott. Look at this kid, man. Look at the physique on this kid. He comes in. He is prepared tonight. It's all you, Chris, when you're ready. I'd like to have him checked. Apparently, Kim Chi doesn't trust Rad Boy Braden Elliott. He wants to make sure he doesn't bring a foreign object to the ring. Isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic? I was going to say, who's going to, who's going to check Kim Chi? Yeah, nobody. Did you hear Kim Chi finally got indoor plumbing? Is that true? Yeah, they dug a hole underneath the wall for the restroom. Ah, oh, that's nice. Weird. but nice. He, I mean, the guy has a screwdriver in his pocket. That seems about as dangerous for him as it is for Brady. What Williams. else? What is that? Is that a knife? It's I a can't stapler. Oh, my God. A stapler? I mean, yeah, that's... I, I feel like we should throw this match out already. Yeah, I can't keep checking. Oh, my God. More pockets? How many pockets does this guy? A pair of scissors! This guy... Apparently, he's opening a barber shop. You can't trust this guy. Oh, there you go. All... I don't even know. Uh, hopefully, Chris got all his pockets yeah, cleaned out. Yeah, that's the qu question I have. Did he get everything out of his pockets? This is, uh, honestly, this is the only way that a guy like Kim Chi is going to get an advantage on a uh, superior athlete like Braden Elliott. Look at the shape this kid's in. Think about his athletic background. Incredible amateur wrestler. Kim Chi, uh, this pile of raccoons in a, in a brown suit is not going to be able to stand up to somebody uh, like a uh, like a Braden Elliott. I just don't see it happening. I'm still thinking about the stapler, Kato. What was he going to do with a stapler? Well, I mean, honestly, in a pri previous life, I have been stapled in a match or two. Not with that kind of staple, though. <laughs> not, a, not a desk stapler. This is, uh, this is the bread and butter of what you're going to find from Braden Elliott. He likes to clamp on that headlock and uh, wear a guy down. I don't know. Can uh, a guy with a mask get cauliflower ears? Can you grind and break that cartilage in there? Oh, I'm sure you can. Yeah, I don't and know. Ears are still under there. They're, they're they're maybe a little bit more protected, but it's not like an actual set of headgear that, to protect the ears. Yeah. Kim Chi trying to find a way out of this situation. Picks him up. Braden Elliott winds it up. Keeps him under control. Kim Chi has uh, not had an answer to this point. He thought he could take a shortcut, thought he could jump him at the beginning of the match. And uh, you got to admire, Brayden Elliott kept his cool despite all that. Oh, I got him with a si elbow on the side of the head. And then a headbutt in the ear. Was that a headbutt in the ear? Or the temple. Give me a break. It almost looked like it might have been to the temple. Always the shortcut with this guy, Kim Chi. Despite all that. Right now, he's still trying to wrestle. After, I guess, uh, you know, nobody's really tried this tactic. They've got frustrated by Kim Chi and uh, went into fight mode. Right now, in the meantime, he's bringing him what brought him to the table. And that, ah, oh, come on. Hey, come on, get him out of the corner. Come on, one, two, what's he, three. What's he come doing? Get him out of the hey, oh, come hey, on. Come on. Hey, I think that's a, that's a count. Hey, that's a count. I mean, obviously trying to put a mask on the guy. What's the sense of this? I am sure that mask just smells awful. I mean, what was the point if you could see through the mask? This guy makes no sense. Of this is the weirdest human being, if he is actually a human being I've ever seen in my whole life. Look at Wow, picking up the pace is Brayden Elliott. I think that's Brayden Elliott under that mask. Oh, it is Brayden Elliott. I wasn't sure. Get rid of that mask. I, I, it was almost like that Spider-Man meme where the two guys were pointing at each other. You couldn't tell who was who. Who was who. Who was the real Spider-Man. Come on now. You can't dig in his face. It's right in front of the referee. I'll be honest. If I, I'm fully in favor of referee Chris just disqualifying Kim Chi if he continues to pull this nonsense. You know, 
a, most mass wrestlers are so scared of being demasked, they'll do almost anything. I've actually heard that Kim Chi has his mask sewn into his ears. Into his ears? All right. I don't know about that. That's that's purely speculation on your part. Purely speculation. There you go, Braden Elliott, man. He is trying to grind down those ears, trying to squeeze the life out of Kim Chi. He is staying true to that headlock, man. He has got a plan. What is he doing? Oh my God, he's pulling his pulling his tights every chance he gets. Every chance he gets, he cheats. I mean, I'm surprised they actually do him, see him do a wrestling hold. I'm surprised you still react to it. I mean, I mean, I, I just—it's all he does. <laughs> it's just exhausting, man. It's just exhausting. All this, all this nonsense out of Kim Chi. Oh man! Oh man! A headbutt to the back of the head, and that thing was wicked. I hope we got a good shot of that. That was. That was unnecessarily painful. That is, uh, good grief. Woo! He caught him so hard on the back of the head. I think Kim Chi got a little bit of it, too. He looks a little bit shaken from it. Look at the look on Braden's face, man. I don't know if you've ever got hit in the back of the head like that. It is, it's worse, it's way worse than getting hit in the front of the head. I was gonna say, do you want me to lower my head? You can see my scar. I do see scars on your head. <laughs> man, oh man, it's, uh, I'll tell you what. I did not like the looks of that head, but um, it was dangerous to the back of the head. And, and, and there you go, man. Kim Chi has found a body part, and that is the neck and the back of the head, and he is uh, working it over. At least he's not cheating. I'll give him credit for that. I don't like it, though. I, 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 think, it's less, I think it's less than gentlemanly to uh, be pounding on the back of someone's head like that. He has, it, it, that's wrestling 101. Find a body part and break it down. I hear you, but when have you ever heard of a guy picking the back of someone's head and breaking it down? It, you right know, I now. Think, I think there's certain unwritten rules in wrestling, just like there is in baseball, where maybe it's legal to be smacking somebody in the back of the head like that. But I, I don't know. It just feels immoral and wrong. It feels wrong because, uh, you know, we all know the dangers of concussions in 2022. And there's no softer spot to get a concussion than on the back of the head. And uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I just don't like this. I don't like this tactic. I don't like this offense. I don't like kimchi. And I don't like the smell of that damn thumb. Oh, my God. This thing. Oh, what a nightmare. I've smelled this thing before during interviews. It is atrocious. Oh, I, if we have any fans here, I'd like to, uh, like, not fans, but like mechanical fan to blow that smell so it doesn't come in this direction. That would be great. You know that's not going to happen. It's just going to swirl around this room. It'll be in here all night now. I think this is what, I mean, are you the commissioner or not? Is something can be done about the smell of There's this thumb? There's no rules against a wrestler smelling funky other than those unwritten wrestler rules. And clearly Kim Chi does not follow the unwritten wrestler rules. I'm going I'm to call the spade a spade right now. I'm going to call it spade a spade. Kids, if you're listening, put your fingers in your ear right now. That guy pisses on his thumb. That is piss. And it smells horrific. And I hate it. Probably right after eating asparagus, too, is what you're saying? Oh, my God. It, dude, it is atrocious. He should be ashamed of himself walking around with that stinky piss thumb. This is ridiculous. I mean, I, I, I ooh, oh, there it is. Damn it, it made it over here. Wow. Whoo. <laughs> you never get used to that. Oh, my God. <coughs> Come on, man. Oh. Hey, uh, wow. That is atrocious. That is atrocious. Come on. Oh my God! Could that be considered threatening, threatening the referee there? You uh, the yeah. Thumb out toward Chris. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine I would hate something more than a urine-covered thumb being jammed in my face. Can you pass out from directly inhaling the fumes uh, from the thumb? Now the question becomes: I mean, clearly, I would hope this is not human urine. 
This is some sort of animal. I don't know. Have you ever smelled deer urine? Yes. Yes, I have. It's not a good smell, man. Do you, and it do might you want be. to ask me how I know? No, I don't want to know how you know about that. I don't want to know. That's a story I for another time. I think you might know. What? Too. I don't know anything about deer urine in a battle royal. Get out of here. Somebody do something about this guy. Oh. Dubious villain move. I mean, another shot to the back of the head and the neck. Just working Braden Elliott over. I, I mean, I, I almost, I, I like, I just want the match to be over. I want him out of this building. I don't know why somebody hasn't thought to bring like some bleach or something to counteract that thumb tone. Yeah, this is uh. Three, oh, a little bit of fire with fire. See how Kim Chi likes a shot in the back of the head. Another shot. This one in the side of the head by the ear. Kim Chi starting to get some pro. Whoa! He caught him right in the mouth and nose on that one. Yes! Clothesline! And again, you can hear that one from here. Brayden Nelly is starting to build some momentum now. Shotgun drop kick! Kim Chi doesn't know where he's at. Gets caught up. Big body slam. Might be the moment. It might be the moment. Cowabunga, baby! Headed to the top rope! Where's Kim Chi headed? Out the back door. Where's he going? Oh my god, he's running away? Get back in here. Don't trust him. Stand your ground, man. This guy's not to be trusted. This guy is not to be trusted. Watch your back. This guy can pop up from anywhere. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Get, the I mean, that's it, I guess. Wow. God, I hate that kimchi. What a coward. That might be the first. Is that the first count out victory ever at Imagine Live? I don't know, man, but uh, yeah. I mean, are you surprised? No. He keeps running. He keeps running. It's like a watch is going to do. Yeah, man. All right. Honest goodness, though, I kind of expected that kind of re reaction out of him when he was trying to defend his Imagine Live title. Yeah, yeah.